world is a cut that bit off. Good morning, everyone. I hope you all had fun with Legatus. <laughs> it certainly seemed like you guys did. But now you're here with the Archivist. And we're going to have a nice, gentle time. Hello. Hello. I know. It sounded like he wasn't very nice. Don't worry. I'm here now. So just lay back. Relax. Put on some headphones. And we'll chill together. In a strange day, huh? <laughs> mm. What have you guys been up to? No binaural? No, no binaural this time. Just chill voice. Was that part of the script? I wish. There is no script on this one. This one's just pure live responding to things. <laughs> You were just sitting. That sounds nice and comfy. Mm. I'm so proud of you guys. You managed to get through the archivist script. Legatus even. <laughs> I can't even speak today. Ah, you've been getting through everything that went on on Twitter though. So, good job. Yeah. Let me give you a head pat. Good job. Good job. I'm always so proud of you guys surviving the forest as well. Honestly. I send you there just to make you stronger. And I'm so proud that you managed to survive that. <laughs> you scared us so much? Good. That was kind of the point. Some of you were going to hate that. Some of you were going to love it. All part of the entertainment. <laughs> You're now fulfilled. Oh, that's too sweet. Come on. You're more important than that. You don't need anyone else to make you feel fulfilled. You should be able to feel fulfilled just with what you do in life. Honestly. Think about everything you've overcome to be here today. Do you know how many people don't make it this far? Do you know how many people never get to be the age that you're at? For whatever reason. You've overcome so many hardships. You've worked so hard. And now, it's time to just chill. Enjoy yourself, lay down, and feel the cozy and warm vibes. Mm. <laughs> Don't cry, what the hell? This isn't about crying, this is about the honest truth right now. Want to be strong like you? I wouldn't say that I'm strong. I do my best. I try to keep my emotions in check. I try to be nice to those around me. Try to look after those that I care about, but we all slip up every now and then. We all have moments where we know we've messed up. Mm. But I try to do my best. I mean, this was April Fool's after all, and a Batsu game. The perfect time to do it, really. But I really wanted to give you guys the best that I could. And I guess that's the best thing to take away from this. You can slip up so many times in life, and honestly... You just have to pick yourself back up and keep going. You never have to think, oh, I fucked up, so I'm terrible now. I just need to give up and accept that. No. Just make that change whenever you can. Don't go to sleep thinking about your failures. Instead, go to sleep thinking about all the successes you've had in life so far. Just how hard you're working. Just how well you're doing. And how much you deserve. Because you deserve everything. Everyone in this world deserves to be understood and seen and loved. I think that's the most important thing. Is the feeling that you're seen, the feeling that you're understood, the feeling that somebody has gone out of their way and taken their time to actually try to understand you. Because even just that <laughs> can be pretty hard for some of us. We all work such stressful jobs. Or... Do education even, if you're still in school. That's stressful as it is. Especially at that point since you're still developing and don't know what else is going to happen once you're done with education. <sighs> but it takes a special kind of strength to be able to go about your day. Meet random people. Have to deal with whatever's going on with them. And still prove how strong you are. 
still prove that you can care about those people. Still show how kind that you can be to everyone around you. You're riding your finals in three weeks? Oh, that's going to hit pretty hard. <sighs> Just take it one day at a time. You can only work as hard as you can. Study every day, but also make sure you're taking care of yourself. Remember, no exam is worth your health. Make sure you're eating well. Make sure you're staying hydrated. Make sure you're exercising. And always make sure you're taking care of your mental health. Make sure you take enough time off to look after yourself. <laughs> that sounds so nice, dude. I'm glad to hear that. That's really what this atmosphere is supposed to be. It'll just be an hour-long stream of me responding to you guys. Time passes by so quickly. It really does. And that's another thing we all need to remember. We all get weighed down by, like, the day-to-day. -day. We all feel a little bit terrible every now and then at things that happen on a daily. But you need to understand that anything bad is going to end. Anything that doesn't end, you're going to adapt to. And you just need to accept that as part of life. There are some challenges we have to overcome. And while we're going through them, it may feel like they're going to take forever. Once you get on the other side of them, you'll realize that the time flew by. Suddenly you're in a different stage of your life. And once that does open up, that's when you get to truly prove what kind of person you are. You've overcome some new hardship. But at that point, are you going to flex on other people and show how strong you are, how cool you are? Or are you going to use that little bit of extra energy they have? That little bit of extra time you have every day to look after the others around you and try to help them through their challenges. Because if we all do that, we'll all feel a little better. Mm. Sometimes I feel like time is slipping by me. I can feel that completely as well. There are some days that just pass by and the whole day you don't do anything. It feels like time just completely goes by you. You don't even get out of bed. And frankly, we need days like that. There's nothing wrong with having a day like that. There's nothing wrong with having a couple of weeks like that. As long as you remember that that doesn't define you. You can always change your trajectory in life. I had several months in a row where the only times I left the house were after like 3 a.m. I was so scared of people. I was so scared of ever interacting with anyone. And while that was going on, every night I would do the same thing. I would look out the window, my night had already fallen, and everything had turned to silent. And I would think, this isn't me. Tomorrow. 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 Tomorrow, I will work on myself. Tomorrow, I will fix what's wrong. Tomorrow, I'll be a better person. And I let that continue. For weeks. For months. For almost a year. A simple fact is, sometimes we carry heavy, heavy burdens. And at those kinds of times, you just have to accept that you're going to get tired, that you need rest, that you need some time to get your head back in check. And that's okay. Blaming yourself and weighing yourself down, that's a really good way to cause problems in your life. Instead, just do whatever you can today. Just do whatever you can right now. If you're able to, get out of bed, maybe do some exercise. Make yourself some healthy food. Open up the windows and let the air in. Clean your living space. Brush your teeth even. Any tiny thing. Any tiny thing is a good step for today. And that's all you have to do. Sometimes that's all the achievement you need. And you can do a little more tomorrow. Or you can do a little more in a few hours. You just need to stop thinking about what you've done in the past and only worry about what's going on right now. Mm. Oh, there are some of you going to bed. Okay. If you want to, you can leave this on while you fall asleep. I promise there'll be no jump scares. There'll be no loud noises. There won't even be an outro screen. And for this one, I won't even be raiding anyone. So you won't suddenly get an explosive amount of sound from anyone else. So feel free to lay back, 
and enjoy this until you fall asleep. Unlike the goddess, I won't be jumping on your bed. I won't be ripping off your clothing. I will just tuck you in, sit by the side, and continue to talk to you until you fall asleep. <laughs> Should we trust you? I mean, it is April Fool's Day. You never know when I'll end up turning into a seahorse. <laughs> Uh, but don't worry. I won't. I promise. You can trust me. Tomorrow? I can't say. But for today. You're fine. This is my true ultimate April Fool's move. Is giving you exactly what I delivered on April Fool's. And nobody expecting it. <laughs> uh, the reverse Uno, baby. We need more deep voice, Fuchan. The funny thing is, this isn't even deep voice Fuchan, this is just slow voice Fuchan. I'm not editing my voice whatsoever right now. This is just what it sounds like when my mind isn't running at a mile a minute. I'm not trying to get out as much information as I can quickly. This is just me being chill. This is just me relaxing. And that's how I want you all to feel right now. In fact, I want everybody to close their eyes. I don't care whether you're laying down, sitting down, standing, how, even if you're exercising. Just close your eyes and take a deep breath. And while you breathe in, try to count to eight slowly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now breathe out. Good job. We often neglect just how important breathing is. <laughs> don't worry if your lungs are too small for that. Right now, I don't think I could do it either. <laughs> uh, the problems of being post-recovery of a certain thing. But don't worry, just take a deep breath as you can. You can count faster, or you can count to a smaller number. What's important is just getting as much air into your lungs as you can. Holding it there for about a count of two, and then breathing back out. Obviously, if you're driving, don't close your eyes. Why do people have to try and ruin things? Any car crashes are not the responsibility of archivists. Those are your own problems, and it's on you. <sighs> The power of breath can't be overrated. No, it really can't. You can open your eyes again. Yeah, you can open your eyes whenever you want to. That was just for one deep breath. Well, it might be good to continue that breathing. And if you feel like you'd prefer to have your eyes closed, I certainly find that very relaxing. Hmm. Can imagine my face? That works out pretty well. <laughs> yeah. I feel like quite a few people will use this for a sleep aid. So just imagine me laying sideways on the pillow next to you. Hmm. You can even take out one earbud. I was unfortunately unable to make this binaural. Although, no, I'm not going to do that. That way you can imagine I'm next to you. Hmm. Oh, people really do underestimate how important breathing is. A lot of the times, it's hard to get inside your head enough when you're going through something really stressful. Things like that can often lead to panic attacks and just in general anxiety. And at that point, you forget to breathe. You forget how to think even. Your body is in pure fight or flight reflex. But all you really need to do is just take back control of your body one part at a time the breathing system is the easiest. And just take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. And feel the air pass through your body. Feel it go in through your nose. Down through your throat. Into your lungs. Feel your chest expand. And feel all the energy that brings you. Remember, air is what actually gives us our energy. <laughs> Obviously we need to eat and drink and get all of our nutrients. 
But air is what brings us the oxygen. Without the oxygen, no hemoglobin, no energy transfer around the body. Mm. The deep breath out gets all the contamination. No more carbon dioxide. <laughs> Photosynthesis. Wow. I don't know how your particular body works. I don't know if you're a plant. We do have a lot of dragons and fish and all kinds of other mysterious creatures at Nijisanji who may indeed not need to breathe. Plantito. <laughs> si, plantito. Bien. Science ASMR? I wouldn't even really call this ASMR, but... It's just relaxing, calming voice on a normal microphone. Other people would call this ASMR, which is why I put it in my title. But <laughs> that's just for the algorithm. <laughs> Guided meditation? Mm, kind of, I guess. It's writing material for me. Oh, what are you writing? It's really exciting. It must mean you're a creative individual. Being able to take your time and create your own world. The best thing about that is that it's probably going to inspire so many other people. Anytime you create something and share it with the world, you never know how many people you're inspiring. And I mean any creatives, anyone who writes, anyone who draws, anybody who makes. Whatever you do, you have no idea how much it affects the world. <laughs> Honestly, even just during the day to day, you have no idea how many people see you around the world. And you may bring joy to them without even thinking about it. There have been so many times that I've just been traveling on public transport and seen somebody wearing a shirt that I recognize of a band I like, of an anime I'm fond of, of a reference to some joke. And it's just brought a little smile to my face. Mm. <laughs> and of course, that includes cosplayers too. Being able to see your favorite characters come to life. That's such a good time. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear about that. <laughs> Having an emotional period like that. I just hope you get over it, Nuggets. But don't worry. The ideal you? What's the ideal you? You should be the ideal you. You can turn yourself whatever way you want to be. You have to love yourself before anyone else. You have to understand what makes you special. You have to understand that there are going to be people that accept you. There are going to be people that understand you. And anybody who doesn't, they're just not worth your time. Why would you stress yourself out by trying to be an ideal version for somebody else when you can instead just be exactly what you want to be? Mm. That's the thing. If people don't like you at your worst, they do not deserve you at your best. Mm. <laughs> You're making me cry, sir. Oh, don't cry. This should be a normal thing, honestly. I mean, I say these kinds of things in a more jokey and ridiculous way while we're streaming normally. You all bring me so much happiness. Every day. Every day I get to spend with you, whether it's... Stupid, ridiculous puns. Sweet comments. Adorable jokes. Fan art. Nice comments. Even the trolling sometimes. Everybody always wishes for me to die in video games, but I know you only do that because it's part of the community. It's what makes us all happy, what brings us together. And because frankly, I'm really good at video games, and I so rarely die and lose. <laughs> but that's just something I'm naturally good at. There are so many things that you are naturally good at. <laughs> Uh, not in Wolong. True. True. But maybe that's part of the entertainment of Wolong. Maybe not being good at that game is something that actually 
makes the game more entertaining. And hell, if it wasn't for all long, we wouldn't be doing this right now. We wouldn't have the beginning of the Legata stream, which everybody can enjoy in the future. I pretend it was going to be unarchived, but these will both be archived, don't worry. <laughs> Hearing this after my bad exam is comforting. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Thana Selene, but don't worry about it. It will not take you any time whatsoever to recover from that. If you have one bad exam, there could be any reason for that. It could have been lack of sleep, it could have been nerves, it could have just been bad luck with the questions on the test. It's one of the unfortunate things that exams don't really test your knowledge. Exams just test a couple of questions that happen to come up. Mm. Just take it one day at a time. Think about everything that you want to achieve in the future and work towards it. Do not worry about the fact that this time it didn't work out because next time it will. Next time you'll be more confident. Next time you'll have more time to study. <laughs> it's one of the great things about life. You can always try something again and again, no matter how many times it takes. Exactly, small fox. Exams don't help you in the real world. And people realize very quickly that exams don't actually test what type of person you are, how intelligent you are, how good of a person you are. Because we're all unique. We're all different. And we're all just trying to survive in this world. Every exam, no matter which one it is, just tests one tiny facet of that. It lets you see how good you are at mathematics or analyzing stories or, I don't know, remembering historical dates. None of that makes you who you are. It's your interactions with the world, what you put out into the world, what you want to do, your passion, that actually makes you you. I know what to do whenever I have a mental breakdown. What do you do when you have a mental breakdown? For me, I just let it take on a day or two. Let myself just stay in bed for a day or two. Just walk dog and otherwise chill. Watch silly YouTube videos, get it out of my head. And then, when I know it's time, unwrap myself from that blanket burrito and start thinking about what I actually care about, what I want to do. Stop thinking about the stupidity that led me into that mental breakdown and realize that I can always change. I can always recover from that and that there are steps I can take to improve myself. Mm. I'm sad because I don't have a day or two to do that. I'm sorry to hear that too. That is painful. There are times we just have to soldier on no matter what. In those times, it's important to remember that there will be better times in the future. Some things you just can't escape, whether they are time sensitive or whether they're something that's just not going to change. At that point, you just do have to become stronger and fight through it. But you just have to realize that you are strong enough for that. You do have the ability to get to the other side of it. You got this far. And that means you'll be able to get through just about anything. I just end up going numb at that point. Mm. That's a bit of a self-defense mechanism, but it can help. That's just your body protecting you. Your mind going to sleep for a little while. And that's fine. That's very similar to what I do for those two days. Eventually you have to come out of that, and then it's good to self-actualize. Think about why you did that. Think about what led to that. And try to change that in the future. Try to space out as much as possible. Mm. Sometimes just avoiding the problem is the best you can do for a little while. <laughs> but don't worry. You can do this. You are stronger than you possibly know. You have no idea how much hardship you go through that you don't even consider hardship. Something that you do incredibly well, other people will struggle on massively. You have no idea how hard it is for people just to get out of bed in the morning. Just to sit up, even. <sighs> I love you, too. <laughs> Didn't 
tired from training lately. But your words help me get up and work. Oh, that's so sweet. I hope you continue having better mornings. That's what's important, is just trying to improve a little bit every day. Using whatever vices it is that gets you through it. Perhaps I shouldn't say vices. Mm. Using whatever mechanisms it is that helps you get through it. <laughs> but I am truly proud of you all for getting this far. I'm so thankful to have you guys in my life. <laughs> hmm. So what are some of your things that you like to do? Just something that you enjoy doing around? Hmm, for me, I've already talked about YouTube videos. Streaming is actually a really good one for me. Eating. Eating is always good. Oh, having a nice hot meal on a cold day. Having some nice cold ice cream on a hot day. <laughs> Finding something delicious. Something new that you've never experienced before. Weightlifting. Oh, how I uh, love lifting weights. Feel that little burn in your muscles. Know that it's going to hurt for a day or two after. Know that you've pushed past a new limit. Set a new record for yourself. <laughs> weightlifting is a great one. Because you can always feel how much you're improving. Same for any exercise, really. You can always compete with yourself and just know you're getting better day by day. And day by day is the important part. Anything like that, you just have to keep fighting forward day by day. I think Bojack's Horseman said it really well. <laughs> it gets easier every day. But that's the hard part. You have to do it every day. That's how it gets easier every day. Hmm. I want to be able to draw again. So just draw. Put a pencil down on paper. It doesn't matter if you end up drawing something silly, something terrible, something you don't want to show anyone. Just draw. Just have some fun. Relax yourself and let the pencil go where the pencil goes. Or, I guess... The tablet pen. <laughs> uh, I'm old. <laughs> I have to rest my wrist. Well then don't be silly. Don't draw. God. You are also troublesome. Silly, silly sheep. <laughs> In that case, no drawing. Do something else. Just relax for a bit. Imagine some things that you can draw in the future. Plan some compositions. Stretch out your hands. Always stretch out your hands. Whatever you do for fun, yes, you should always be taking care of your body as well. Little stretches, even if it's just office work, even if you're just a writer, even if you just sit around for most of the day, it'll make it so much easier in your life if every two hours or so you stand up, stretch your body in every way that you can. Mm. But writer's block? Hmm. Write whatever you can. Write a diary if you have to. Write whatever you see out in the world. That actually helps really well. Just go people watching and just literally describe what you see. And if it sounds silly, that's fine. It's allowed to be silly. <laughs> Making something makes me feel better. Making stuff with clay, painting and assembling gumbla. Even making something in Minecraft. You say even making something in Minecraft, but making things in Minecraft could be quite hard too. If you're able to do that, that's impressive enough as it is. <laughs> Take a picture per day. Oh, that's a really nice idea. Then you have so many memories as well. Mm. Take a picture every day. Maybe try exploring too. Maybe try going a, a different direction every day from your house. Just travel a little bit, take a picture, see how far you got, and the next day go a different direction. Go as far as you want to, take a picture, and go home. And within a couple of weeks, not only will you know your entire neighborhood, but you'll be traveling further than you thought you could. You'll be exploring more of it, you'll see more of the world. Taking a picture is kind of good. Yeah, I actually really like that one. I've never done that. Then you can see yourself getting further day by day. You can see the different sights you never see. 
you may discover that there's a lot more natural beauty around you than they thought there was. You never know what you're going to find in your local area. Spring is coming. Mmm. It's going to be so nice. Right now, all the leaves have fallen. They're all drying up. So nice to walk out them and hear them crunching under your feet. And soon, all the plants will be budding. All the flowers. All the trees. So much life is going to appear. You're going to hear the birds singing every day. Mmm. The wildlife will be coming back. And the sun is going to feel so much nicer. The cool air will still be around, but the sun will warm your body. And it will feel like you're underwater in a nice hot jacuzzi. Guess you just need to be brave to un explore the unknown. Hmm. As long as you're being safe about it, then it should be fine. Go out during the day. Find whatever makes you happy. The sun is good until it's too hot. <laughs> yeah, but we've got a month or two until that happens. <laughs> uh, we just have dry and rainy season. Hmm. How's it heading into the dry or the rainy season? Both have their own beauties. I love the rain so much. I love being out in it. Feeling it weigh down my hair. Letting it drip down my body. That feeling where you can feel your shirt clinging to yourself. So nice to come home and tear it off and have a quick shower. Warm yourself up. Rain is very calming. Yeah, that's so good as well. Rain when you're starting to fall asleep. You just hear the pit of out of it on the roof. You can hear it dripping down. From all the different materials. Falling from different heights. The loud thuds that come from the sky. The slightly slower, more deep and boomy thuds that come from it collecting and dropping closer to the ground. Hmm. I hate how loud rain is. That's a feeling I don't understand. <laughs> I love the rain. But, as we said, everybody has their own unique tees. Unique tees? That's not a word. <laughs> Everybody has their own style. You don't have to like what other people like. Hmm. What would be better than rain, then? Snow? For a day or two, maybe. The sun. Always. Hail. As long as you're not stuck out in it. <laughs> Hail if you're not stuck out in it. That sounds amazing, too. To stare out the window and watch all the little balls colliding into the ground. So great to see them if they actually stick around for a little while. I also love the smell of the earth after rain. Yes, especially in the summer. When it's been dry for a while and you can literally smell the outer layer of the rain sinking into the ground. The dry vegetation moisturizing itself. So nice. Rain in the winter smells good as well. You get that damp earth smell. But in the summer you can smell so much life as well. You have that dry earth smell combining with the mud and the earth. Mm. Petrichor. I didn't even know it had a word. Petrichor. That sounds relaxing too. The sound of the ocean is calming. Yes, it is. I think anything with that kind of tone, anything that just keeps going, a nice deep sound that just continues for a while feels so soothing I like the sound of rain the sound of the ocean the sounds of vibrations even the sounds of people's voices they almost lure you into a vegetative state calm you and let you feel more relaxed because you know they're always going to be there Cat's purring is soothing. That is very soothing. It's a very deep, vibrating sound. <laughs> Don't go Franbo on us. Yeah, I should have more said meditative state rather than vegetative. I think the one works, though. I wouldn't mind being a vegetable for a few days. I'd probably get boring after that. But I think I could do two to three days as a potato. Or a carrot. <laughs> 
I have said how much I would love to have an underground house. Mm. Why not a fungus? A fungus could be good as well. Then you have the responsibility of creating spores and spreading out and basically becoming your own ecosystem. That's quite a bit of pressure. Fungi are fun guys, but they work hard. Being a carrot would be nice, I feel like. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's a bit of a morbid direction. I can't imagine it would be too different from the eternal rest that we get at the end. Being planted back in the soil and giving back to the earth. Which I won't go into too much detail on because I know some people find that very macabre and scary. But I think it's just a nice rest at the end of the journey. Once you've been through enough, once you're tired enough, just to go to sleep. Mm. And then you get to know that you'll spread out into the earth again. We all started as stardust after all. Billions of quadrillions of quintillions of years ago. And the Big Bang happened. Everything slowly collided back together since gravity. Supernovas happened and boom. All of life is slowly fading into the void due to entropy. In a good way. <laughs> we don't have to worry about that. That's the great thing. We're only human. In the most literal sense. Hmm. That's what I mean. Everybody who is here today has survived so much to be here. Just surviving, just living, getting up every day, feeding yourself, making sure you're hydrated, making sure you're taking care of yourself, is such an achievement. And in the end, we'll all return back to stardust. Maybe it'll just fade out, or maybe it'll come back together and have another big bang and just restart all over again. <laughs> One of the best relaxing feelings is being in a kitchen, pan sizzling with cozy music, and just being in the company of your loved ones. Oh yeah, even if you don't have loved ones, being able to cook is so good. Taking the ingredients of food, transforming them into a proper meal. Just doing that is such an achievement as well. Hmm. <laughs> Personally, I'm super lazy on that. I'd rather just cut things up. <laughs> Chop myself up a salad and eat it cold and raw. <laughs> but if you take it and you cook it all at the right temperature, combine things the right way, use good spices, mm, that's really impressive. That's actually what made us so different from every other animal. The fact that we learned to use fire. Prometheus. Providing us the key to evolution, making it so we had a much more safe access to calories. We could grow, we could develop, and then our brains could take on all the strength that they need. But Chan, what's your favorite soup? Hmm. I'm not really sure. I really like a tomato soup with a grilled cheese sandwich. I think that's probably just a childhood thing more than anything else. Miso soup is great. Clear soup even, the one that just barely tastes of mushrooms and onions and broth. Ah, but I'll eat just about anything like that. Really, if you just take chicken stock, add some meat to it, just about any vegetables, you can just spice it the way you want from there. Add whatever spices you feel like will work. Take it from there and take it in whatever direction you want. If it ever really fucks up, you can always just add a bunch of chili powder or like Worcestershire sauce or anything in that direction to give it some boost of flavor. <laughs> It'll always be edible. <laughs> I had cold tomato juice as a kid and got forever traumatized by it. <gasps> but gazpacho, I think it's called. Cold tomato soup is kind of delicious. I've never had tomato juice, though. That doesn't sound amazing. Is it gazpacho? Did I imagine that? <laughs> Is it bisque? I don't know. Ah, uh, oh yes, wushu shoe sauce. <laughs> hey, 
Worcestershire sauce is incredible. It makes anything better. <laughs> Can you cook soup in an air fryer? You could try. If you achieve it, I'll be proud of you. If not, I'll be very happy that you destroyed an air fryer. You know what? 10 out of 10. I'd advise you to make gazpacho in an air fryer. Chowder for the win. Oh, clam chowder is so delicious. Oh. Oh. I didn't mute myself. I put on echo. <laughs> <sighs> uh, I love hot mustard. Um, now we're just talking about food. Okay, you know what? One of you guys' favorite foods. <laughs> what was that? Nah, just testing you. Seeing if you were all awake. <laughs> you said no jump scare. If that jump scares you, you're just too weak. I love bread. Welsh cakes. Potato and tamales. Ooh. Lots of hearty things. Homemade gyoza. Pork buns. Oh, pork buns are amazing. Especially if they're freshly made. Out in the cold, especially. Comfort is spaghetti bolognese. Mmm, spaghetti's so good as well. Takoyaki. Hell yes, now we're talking. <laughs> I love pho. Pho's great as well. Chocolate. Chocolate's always good. What type of chocolate, though? There are so many choices. <laughs> See, if you're ever feeling bad, food really is a good way to bring people together. It's a good way to feel better about your day. And it's a good way to recharge yourself. <laughs> Milk chocolate is the best. Ah, but there's so much beyond to go through that. Milk chocolate with fruit and nut? Mmm, that shit's amazing. Dairy milk, fruit and nut. Dairy, Cadbury. Cadbury, fruit and nut. That's what I meant. <laughs> Dark chocolate, dark chocolate's great as well. Matcha frappe. Not for me, but I'm glad you like it. <laughs> that sounds healthy. Eating means you're living, exactly. Converting nutrients from the world into your own body. Be used for whatever you want to do in the future. You become the master of the food chain and the master of your own destiny. I'm hungry now. <laughs> yeah, sorry. We went into that conversation a bit deeply. <laughs> is this a prank? Yes, it is. You're all being pranked. This was actually just to make you all softer. So that when I send you back to the forest, things go bad. <laughs> I'm feasting right now. Good shit. <laughs> So what are some small achievements you've done recently? And they can be as tiny as you want or as large as you want. For me, I liked making, this a, I liked making the script for the Legatus thing. It was only supposed to be a three minute voice back. So I was quite impressed I managed to turn that into a ten minute one. And it was really hard to balance between <laughs> making it super cringe a tidy bit you know, suggestive without going too, too far in that direction. I finished a book. Let's go. But to discover a new story, explore new worlds. That sounds awesome. Four drawings I'm proud of. Damn. A lot that you've managed to share with the world. That's incredible. I started animating again. Oh, it takes a long time. Good job. Hope it continues to work out. I made a zine with my friends. Aww. A group project. That's even better. The fact that you're both socializing and creating something for the world to enjoy is fantastic. I drew full body art for seven days straight. Oh my god. Thank you for all the art you always do, Kidada Kill. And the cosplay. Art recently of a video. And my god, the birthday art with Dog was so good. I drew my profile picture. I'm kind of scared to see what your profile picture looks like. <laughs> but congratulations on drawing it. Cleaned my house and started writing again. 
Cleaning your house is such a good one. Cleaning the space you live in makes everything feel a bit better. Finished requirements. That's so sussy. <laughs> I finished my requirements. Don't worry about what my requirements are. They're done with. You don't need to know. <laughs> that could have been an assassination. <laughs> that could have been corporate or corporate espionage. Whatever your assignments were. I'm proud of you. <laughs> I met a bunch of online friends recently for a vocation. Yo, let's go. That's a big step. Meeting people that you've only known online. For one thing, yeah, it's always important to be safe with things like that. You're never 100% sure of who you really know when it comes to online. But yeah, being able to meet them. Being able to actually see them. Suddenly they're not online friends anymore. I mean, they're always just friends. Now you've met them offline too. <laughs> That's a hard step. Why did that turn dark? It always turns dark. You've got to protect yourself. <laughs> Went over to a friend's place and hung out with them. Oh, that sounds nice. Talking to a guy that I like and hanging out with him today. <gasps> Congratulations. I hope that goes really well as well. Get up early every day now to watch Fujian stream. Sorry that they are so early. <laughs> that tends to be when I have the most energy. But thank you for that, honestly. That's not just a well done. For one thing, yeah, it's good to like start your day every day at a healthy time. But for another thing, just thank you for showing up. I reached Twitch affiliate. Let's go. That's amazing. Any relationship advice, Fuchan? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> My only advice is to make sure you love yourself. Never, ever settle. Always make sure that the person you're with makes you happy. That's all that matters. Mm. Never feel like you have to be in a relationship. But as long as someone makes you happy, yeah, hold on to them and treat them right. If they don't treat you right, you know, find revenge. <laughs> don't find revenge. Just get out of there. They're just not worth your time. <laughs> Studying for a big exam that's on Tuesday. Kind of nervous, but I hope I do well. I hope you do well too. Just remember to relax. Keep studying for now. But remember to relax on the day of the exam. Nerves are actually half the battle when it comes to exams. As long as you've gone to all the classes and you've studied your texts, it should go fine. Mm. Made many friends because of you, Fuchan. Thank you for making this community. Uh-uh, this isn't about me. No, no, no. This is about you guys. You guys are the community. You're the ones who are here, that show up all the time, that share this warm, radiating energy, and that make me happy to stream. I said... Streaming is one of the ways I relax. Streaming is one of my happy places. And that's thanks to you guys. That I can show up every day, every morning, and be like, hmm, this will be fun. This is what I want to do. <laughs> uh, you built the community. No, 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 no. Okay. Let's move on. <laughs> The birthday celebration was so good, thanks to you guys. But thank you all so much. Having a public exam for university in two weeks. I'm really nervous. and depressed as everyone thinks that I won't do well. <sighs> Why do you care what anybody else thinks? The fact that they're thinking you won't do well is just showing that they're concerning themselves with you. But you shouldn't be concerned with them. Just prove them wrong. You put in the work. You're going to achieve your results. And whatever result it is, again, that doesn't define you. It may just be that education is not your path. I think you're going to do good. Simply because of the fact that you're actually thinking about it. You're worrying about it. But the simple fact is, if you don't do well, there are so many other directions your life can go in. You don't have to take the traditional route. <laughs> I'll say it. I was on the pre-med path and I dropped out. 
I washed out, I flopped. Things went bad in my life and I had to take a break. And if I hadn't done that, I'd probably be stressed out of my mind right now. A completely different person and maybe someone I didn't even like. If I even got that far. Where I am now is the happiest I'm ever going to be in my life. And that was partly because things went wrong and I had a bad time and I had to work hard. But eventually I showed up here. Finally confessed to someone. They haven't responded. Maybe they never will. I hope he sees it one day. But meanwhile, I go about life. I hope he's happy. Aw, that's sweet. That's all we can really hope for the ones we love. Hmm. As long as you cherish them. You're doing great, Futan. No, you're doing great. Reverse Uno card. <laughs> We're so happy to meet you again. Reverse Uno card. We're trying to turn this around on me. This is a stream where I say nice things to you guys. Mm. I successfully raised three fat cats. <laughs> oh, that's definitely a good sign. That shows how impressive you are. Cats do not lead a lot of care, but man, they are troublesome. <laughs> The fact that you've managed to raise them. Can you imagine how important that is to those cats? So many cats end up homeless on the streets fighting to survive. The fact that you've raised three of them made them healthy and hardy. Mm. Even if they don't deserve it. <laughs> Even if they're little shits. <laughs> uh, you've taken another life into your house. And you've looked after them. And they will remember you for the rest of their life. Bro, how dare? How dare? <laughs> I have kind of ongoing anxiety attacks today and this helps me to calm down. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, best unknown superhero. But thank you for being here. Just know that there are people that care about you. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you made it through that. And I hope it continues to improve. Mm. Just try... Take control of your own body. And remember, anything that is scaring you right now will pass. Mm. Mm, anxiety is a bit of a strange beast to fight. Have any advice for people who don't know their own identity? Mm. That's a really hard one. Because it takes you a long time to figure out exactly what kind of person you are. <laughs> I still don't even know if I know exactly what kind of person I am. Mm. I think you just find it out bit by bit as you grow. You don't have to define yourself. As soon as you start trying to define yourself and put it into words, like, Oh, I'm an introvert. Oh, I'm an extrovert. Oh, I'm an int P. I'm an int J. That's when you start to lock yourself into boxes. And nobody needs to do that. You are you. You are you and that's all that matters. Self-actualization begins simply by meditating. By feeling the way that you feel. Understanding why you react to certain things. Examining your own behavior. That is one important thing for sure. If you have a bad day, you have to examine why you had a bad day. Think about it. Was it something that someone else did, or was it something that you did? Was it something that just naturally occurred? Was it the weather? Hmm. Bit by bit, you have to self-actualize and figure out what kind of person you are. And that's the only way you can deal with things as they begin to arise. You start to realize that, oh, I guess I am a bit of a contrarian. <laughs> Somebody told me I had to do something some way, and so I went out of my way to do it a completely different one. And was it better, or was it worse? Did you give yourself extra work because of that? Is it worth doing that extra work just to be a contrarian? <laughs> or is that something you need to work on to overcome? To just accept that sometimes people actually have useful advice? And now the weather? <laughs> well, you never know. Especially anybody who has arthritis, anybody who has nerve conditions, can tell you that the colder it is, and the more wet it is. 
the more that that affects them. Sometimes even just on a very subtle level. And those slight physical differences can add up to a lot in their mental health. Hmm. Sometimes it's as easy as pressure. You wake up in the morning, your head's just very slightly hurting and you don't know why. And that just begins a bit of a rock slide in your day. A little bit unhappy. You end up a little bit late because the public transport is effed up. Other people are grumpy for the same reason. They're all surrounding you and that annoys you even more. And it just snowballs and snowballs into a bad day. But those kinds of things are out of your control. And as soon as you accept those, you can start to realize how to deal with them. Just take a deep breath. Maybe notice the good things that come of it. The public transport was late, so there were more people on it. You were more cramped up, but you get to see more people. Maybe you'll see someone interesting. Maybe you'll see people that you don't normally see, because you're running late and they're at different time schedules from you. Hmm, maybe you'll see someone walking a big, big fluffy dog. <laughs> you can appreciate that. <laughs> hmm, my heart is full. That's nice. I'm always glad to hear that. One of my favorite movies has a big message about that. I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of About Time. It's a time travel movie because I love my time travel movies. <laughs> but the main message towards the end of the film... This isn't a spoiler per se. <laughs> it's just like the message of the film is that even though the main character can travel through time, he essentially stops doing it. He starts spending every day by going back in time and seeing all the beauty in the world after he's already dealt with all the shit. And then he no longer has to do that because he starts noticing the beauty and just enjoying every moment. Even while you're in the middle of work, even while you've got things piling up on you, there will always be good little moments that you can enjoy. Mm. <laughs> the beauty in it, always. And if you have the time, it's always nice to just stop and enjoy the environment. See what's going on around you. You never know what you'll notice. <laughs> A bird that happens to fly down at the right time. Something on the ground. Something that somebody's dropped. Hmm. Maybe even something that seems disgusting. A stain on the pavement. That happens to look the exact same style as, like, I don't know, a Mickey the Mouse head. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> hmm. Sometimes I just want to go up into the mountains and just sit there and enjoy the fresh air. Maybe plan a holiday for it. Might be nice. It might change your life, you never know. Might change the trajectory of everything else you were working on. Stop making me tired. I mean, that's kind of the point of this one. <laughs> uh, yeah, About Time's a great movie. Oh, it's literally called About Time. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> I've got work to do. That's what I said. Maybe plan a vacation. Then say you have to now. Hmm. Sometimes you have to earn your vacations. Sometimes you have to work hard for a little while to get things that you want. I'm a sad, poorly young man. I cannot have time to enjoy myself. Mm. When you're very young and you don't have proper autonomy, I understand that. But if you're a young man, if you're already an adult, then perhaps that just means that you're going in the wrong direction right now. If you're not enjoying your day-to-day -day services... Maybe it's time to consider a different direction in life. If you're being overworked by what you're currently doing, maybe it would be better to do something a bit more relaxed, a bit less serious. Hmm. Why do I always care about what other people say about me? It's natural to feel that when you're young. Too many of us care about what other people think, and it's actually a biological thing. We care about what other people think because it matters at least on an evolutionary level. But the simple fact is you have to realize that whatever they think about you, it doesn't affect who you actually are. That's the important thing. You can take criticism. You can accept that people are going to judge you a certain way for the ways that you act. 
you can accept all of that and still say, but that is part of me. That isn't something that I want to change. And if it is something that you want to change, you can work on it. If it's something that you can't change, and they're judging you for it, that's on them more than anything else. That is them worrying about other people and adding stress to their lives, which eventually is going to add up and damage them. If it's something that you can change and you want to change, go ahead and work on it. If it's something that you can't change and other people are judging you for it, <laughs> that's pretty disgusting behavior from them. And they're not worth your time thinking about. Loving yourself is the first and most important thing. Especially when it comes to mental health. My mental health improved when I took three days off without feeling guilty about it. I work hard every day. I deserve a good break too. That is so important in life. And when there are people who are trying to tell you that you're weak or that you don't deserve time out or that you should feel guilty for just taking some time out, that's honestly a them problem. Would you rather take a break to make yourself stronger in the future? Or would you rather break down and have that taken out of your hands? It's much more important to take a break when you need one and go back to work at your strongest than to eventually break down and not even be sure when you can get back to it. Exactly. People tell my life tell me how they're worried about me because I'm wasting my golden years. <laughs> Again, why are you letting other people judge your behavior? Whether these are... You don't even know what your golden years are going to be. A lot of people say your 20s is when you have the most fun. My 20s fucking sucked. My 30s so far have been absolutely incredible. And who knows? Maybe it'll only get better from here on out. Everybody's saying like 40 is the new 30 and 50 is the new 40. And honestly, the way technology is going... Eventually, age isn't going to even matter because we're all going to be in some sort of online virtual reality bullshit anyway. <laughs> you can be any age and enjoy whatever you want to at your own time. <laughs> Don't compare your achievements to others. Exactly, Elsbeth. We all do things in our own way. We're all unique and we all have our strengths. We also have all of our weaknesses as well. And that's so important to remember. Mm. What are some of my weaknesses? Physical, obviously. <laughs> Not being able to stream for so long because I have to stand through most of my streaming. Not being able to put in as much work as some other people. Like, that's just a simple fact. I can't sit down at a desk like most people do in a relaxing way. I have to constantly... Relax myself by laying down in bed to relax my spine. Mm, there are so many small things like that that add up. These are my weaknesses. That's who I am. But that doesn't make me any weaker of a person. It's just part of who I am. And who knows? Other people's weaknesses do the same thing for everybody. It's something that I tried to add to the Legata's voice pack just a tiny bit the idea that even the strongest of people if they're actually smart they realize that everybody has weaknesses and isn't good at something but you'll be good at other things <laughs> the only problem is you might not discover those things because other people might cons not consider them too important even just being empathetic is a skill is a strength that in and of itself can help you in so many ways that you don't understand most of the time because we don't teach it we don't train it and while we all appreciate it, too often it goes unnoticed. Artistic endeavors get ignored so much when you're at school level. Everybody's so focused on English, maths, science. <sighs> Again, it's not who you are. You find out who you are. You discover who you are. And when you find a strength that you have, you should share that with the world. Because that will actually make people so much happier. Discovering who you are, discovering what your strengths are, discovering what makes you unique, being able to share those with people, and then showing people how beautiful that part of you is. Mm. I really think like that too. 
Empathy is so important and some people just don't seem to have it. That's exactly it. The people who are judging you, genuinely, they probably don't have enough empathy. <laughs> and they're probably judging you by some unknown metric that has weighed them down in their own life. They don't think you're pretty enough. They don't think you're smart enough. They don't think you're strong enough. None of that should matter to you. You are at whatever level you are. <laughs> anyway. We're about to start to wrap this up. So. I don't know how we should end this. Is there too much empathy? Only if it starts to weigh you down. If you start to worry about people too much to the point that you don't worry about yourself, that's when it gets too bad. That's a very important lesson for some people. I know some people in my own life who care way about, way too much about too many other people that put other people's problems in front of their own that end up damaging their own health and working too hard because they're not looking after themselves. So yes, too much empathy can be a bad thing only if you let your self-worth lag behind only if you don't take care of yourself and your own health. You need to realize that you are important too. You can take time off. You can tell people no. If something is hurting you, if something is stressing you, even if you just don't want to do something, you can say no. You can prioritize yourself. You are so important. And if you don't look after yourself, how are you going to be able to help anyone else in the future? Hmm. So I guess that's the biggest message to come out of this one more than anything. <laughs> the only thing I really repeated a bunch of times is that you have to learn to love yourself. You are so important to so many people that you don't even realize. Especially, yeah, if you take care of others. Even if it's family. Even if it's family, we don't get to choose our family. And unfortunately, some of us are given really terrible family. Some of us become beholden to really terrible friends. You just need to decide whether they're actually worth your time. Prioritize yourself. If they are hurting you, if they are making it hard for you, then you're not, they're not your friend. And if they are your family, <laughs> they don't deserve to be. Mm. take care of yourself love yourself know that you're all important in your own unique way know that I'm thankful for you being here mm. I'll just give you another head rub oh, good job you've worked hard I'm so proud of you for whatever you've done today and if it's still early in the day for you you still have time to do something else today to take care of somebody else, to take care of yourself, to do whatever you want to do, achieve whatever you want to achieve. Just take a first step in that direction. And if you don't know what you want to achieve, maybe just start looking into those kinds of things. Just enjoy yourself while you can and see what inspires you in the world. And when you find what inspires you, chase it. Because you deserve to achieve your dreams and nobody should be able to stand in the way of your dreams. You are amazing. You have survived this far. You were born of stars. And in the future, you will return to that vast universe. We only get this one life, so don't let it pass you by. Have fun with it. Enjoy it. And make of it what you will. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Do not be led astray, my confidants. And as always, because I'm not going anywhere, because I care about you all so much, I will always catch you next time. <laughs>